points and a clean sheet, but you had to really grind it out this afternoon. Yes, we had to battle, of course. Um, not that I didn't expect that, and I was very proud of the way the, uh, the players went about their, their business. Very resolute and um, felt a lot of positives uh, from individual performances on a, on a defensive side. And in the first half, it looked as if you could have got a couple of goals, and that penalty decision that wasn't given, what was your take on that? They're like London buses. That's all I'm going to say. I think we can read into that what we like, yeah. And then the second half, you did get one. Mm. And uh, now the Cambridge manager has said that Jennings got a push in the back, and that's why he handled it. Do you buy that? I, I haven't had the benefit. I think it happened very quickly. Certainly, it was a blatant handball. I think that Martin will obviously uh, protect his players, and quite rightly so. And um, but I think um, I looked at it from first hand. I claimed it as well straight away. But I don't know whether we'll have a look at the video on that one. But let's say it was a blatant penalty. And sadly, the, the thing is in, in this the, 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 the common day now is that the boy has to be sent off, and um, I think that was the harsh thing really for him. Now, in this match, compared to your previous matches, there weren't too, wasn't too much goal mouth action. But perhaps did you make up for that being solid at the back? Well, I think that the experience that we have and certainly the, the qualities we have in defending now, we work very hard on shape and certainly um, I felt that uh, we were a lot of positives. We could have gone in one nil up, two nil up and uh, you know, really uh, on another day we um, would have been in front. But again, we're playing against a good side. This side, uh, uh, you know, they haven't found that their feet as what, you know, but I think they will and certainly um, I'm very pleased with my team's performance. Keegan Parker getting his first goal for the club then, how much of a relief do you think that is for him? Yes, I'm delighted for him because obviously he's off the mark and um, it takes a brave man after you've missed one to step up and uh, uh, take the subsequent one and I felt uh, he used his composure and his experience very well. And then uh, later on, there's some bright performances from substitutes as well. Yes, the impact that the boys make um, coming off the bench is vital and I felt for Luke Medley because um, although he got through um, a little bit more composure, but he's doing well, the young man. He's very critical of himself, and I think that comes from uh, previous experiences. But uh, he won't get um, me criticising for being in the right place at the right time. So it's 10 points from a possible 15. How happy are you with that return? Well, again, uh, we look at the division and we look at um, other teams, and um, for me, that the standings are, are good and healthy, and we're looking to build on that. So it's altering them up next. Like Cambridge, they're a side that are struggling for wins so far this season. What do you make of them? Um, I know what to expect and certainly uh, I wouldn't expect anything less than uh, a tough battle. Um, um, we'll go there and certainly we, we were victorious there last year and I, I expect us uh, to put out another solid show and we'll be brave and um, we'll do as much homework as we can on altering them. But um, for me, uh, you know, a lot of sides at the moment uh, are not gaining those victories and being hard to beat. And, um, sometimes it's a benefit to others when, when you turn those into victories. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. All right, gentlemen. How much relief is it to get that first clean sheet? Is it something that you've yeah. been very close to, isn't it? Well, Tuesday night we deserved the clean sheet and it was a, a spontaneous effort. But um, the victory and the points that we're building on are, is a platform and that's uh, always vital. Um, but I'm pleased for Alan. I mean, to be fair, the two centre-halves today have been outstanding. And um, they've played against a very good striker in the boy right. I, I like him and uh, I feel that um, they gave us the, the platform to build from. And obviously three, three games now at home and unbeaten. That's the kind of thing you'll be looking, I guess, to maintain throughout the season. Really. Well, you, you know, it's, it's when you're here, there's a big expectancy. And certainly players need to have that urgency about them. Um, and and you know, all I can do is keep putting a, a stronger side out as possible and, and, and giving it a, a go and, and hopefully uh, getting that success. Yeah, you, you've kind of had a consistent side at the start of this season. How important is that, you know, obviously in just committing? Yeah, yeah that, that, I mean the consistency from players, they're getting, their, they're getting their form. I think that five games in, obviously they, they've been coming thick and fast, the, the games, and um, a little bit of fatigue perhaps in certain players, but uh, for me, you know, we keep working hard on, on the training, on the training ground and aspects of the training, um, and we'll, we'll be uh, enjoying some football. And I felt today we, we played some very good football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you've mentioned about Ultram already, but I mean, the, the, the fact that this game was sparse there last year, I mean, are you expecting something similar this year? Yeah, well, I mean, Graham Heathcote sides always have that spice, and I'd expect it from him, so. It's nothing to be scared of, it's just a case of going and doing, doing our jobs and, uh, and working hard. Great fixtures without having picked up a victory, what do you make of that? Yeah, I think they played quite some good football at times and it's quite a strange league because I mean you look at uh, Forrest Green who came here first game of the season, I felt we gave them a bit of a batter in that day and uh, 
and maybe wouldn't have expected them to go as well as they had since then. But um, I think it's been opposite. They've put some wins together, and I think they've uh, they're maybe sitting top ten now as well. So it's a funny league, like I say. But I think first seven, eight, nine games of the season, it's all about uh, fighting for position. Do you know what I mean? And we've made a really good start to the season, and probably as good as we could expect. And uh, we've got a tough game on Monday against maybe our so-called lesser team that we should be looking to beat. So hopefully we can run at that with confidence now. You've only got a day's break between the two games. What kind of effect will that have on the players? Yeah, obviously it's, it'll have an effect, but I mean, it's it's always good to go into games when you're winning games. And I think when you go into a game with 10 points on the board, it obviously takes a bit of pressure off you. And uh, we should go there and hopefully get a win. So you've scored your first goal this afternoon. Is this the best of Keegan Parga or, or is there more to come? No, I think there's still a, a, long, a, lot, of, a lot of stuff to come, you know what I mean? It's, to be fair, I'm still really finding my match sharpness, I feel, and uh, I never really done a full pre-season. Um, I came in here uh, late on in pre-season, really for the game start, so I'm still feeling a couple of weeks away from hopefully finding my best for him, but as long as I'm working hard and uh, doing things right, then I'm, I'm confident that I can hopefully uh, start to show that in the weeks ahead. Well done, go and get back inside. Thanks. Superb. How much confidence boost is that for you, mate? You know, to get that first goal. I mean, I guess it always waits on any strikers more, doesn't it, until you get it? Yeah, yeah, it's, I'd be lying if I said that. It's, it doesn't play in your mind. And obviously, judged the last few years, that's what's been letting me down is goals. Uh, I've done all right at the done yeah. quite well at times at the clubs I've been at Huddersfield and all of them but I've not been getting goals and when you hit relatively big clubs like Huddersfield yeah. who are spending money you're just on scoring goals you know what I mean and yeah. like I touched on that's what let me down so hopefully that's why I came here to get goals and um, it's a bit of a bonus to get that penalty today and what was yeah. to put that to bed having missed that one the yeah. other week um, took a bit of bottle and a bit of courage so yeah, yeah. Um, it'd be good to get, get a run of goals together now. Yeah. And obviously the gap the gap the uh, you know Chase Gay with Luke in midweek it must have been good that he kept faith and, and brought you back for this one. Yeah because I mean Luke's a, a young man who's got uh, got the attributes to be a good striker, you know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously yeah. we've got Paul Connor and uh, Big Duffs as well who's coming back to fitness. Yeah. yeah. So it's obviously a healthy competition but um like I say hopefully I can get a run of goals now and uh, that's taking a claim. Yeah, brilliant. Well done today, mate. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.